No, because we can't discard on. Okay, we'll pick the mice. Oh, we don't have a creature, by the way. <laughs> First, we need a creature. Take action, take action, take action. Wait. Play this. Kona Railway Brawler. Out of pain. Oh, actually, this works out perfectly. Again, because of the Kona. Look at this. Because now when we go to our second main phase and we put down this, then it gets the all the United. Man, Kona is... It is really good. It, this doesn't happen often. That we put in like one card in an already established deck and it just makes all the difference. This card has made all the difference. It's been a long search. But I can confirm that I've actually found the legitimate beast from the east. And his name is uh, Kona. R Rescue Beastie is his real name. But don't let the name fool you because this card... I. When I put this in the deck, this was a new card and I wanted to build a deck around this. And I didn't think that this would have such a big impact. Often when I put one of these cards into an already established, kind of established archetype, they don't make that much of a difference. But this card actually made a huge difference in this deck, so... You will see in the games. I was very, very happily impressed by this card. So it says the following. Survival at the beginning of a second main phase. Unfortunately... Uh, well, actually, fortunately, sometimes. If Kona Rescue Beast is tapped, so here's the, the only kicker, it needs to be tapped, so it doesn't go maybe in every deck. You may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. So, how do we uh, make it tapped? Well, there's a couple of ways. One of the easiest ways is, of course, just playing a Victimize. Choose to target creature cards in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield, tapped. So then we get Kona tapped. And then Kona can do something, like for instance putting down an om Omniscience, which is kind of good. But if we're already playing Omniscience, and then we were playing Victimize, so we want to play a Graveyard deck, I thought, why don't we play Shifting Woodlands? Because this can turn into Omniscience, but then I realized, well, if I activate Shifting Woodlands, and it becomes Kona, then it will then also be tapped! <laughs> Genius! And then you can put something down from your hand, so Kona is pretty much the new Nexus of Winning in this deck. It's just better than Nexus of Winning in almost every circumstance. Amazing, amazing. And the other way of making it tap is, of course, attacking, which can do immediately with God for a statue, because, or God for us gift, because we're, yes, we're playing God for us gift, Ulamog, because I think this is the best reanimation combo right now, so that's why we're playing it. And also, it works perfectly with Shifting Woodland, so... Another big upside there. But then I also put in Railway Brawler. And I think that this was a little bit of a stroke of genius, actually. So it says the following. Whenever another creature you control enters, put X plus one plus one counters on it where X is its power. Why are we playing this? Well, if we're playing Victimize, and we just Victimize back an Ulamog, it's probably not gonna do much. I mean, it's a big dude. It's a 7-7 seven, seven and all that. But... It's probably not gonna finish the game, but if we return a Railway Brawler plus an Ulamog, since remember we can return two creatures with this, then Ulamog is then a 14-14, and also it has Annihilator 7, because it gets Annihilator equal to the number plus one plus one counters on it. Genius, 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 genius. <laughs> it's so genius. Of course, we have the regular mid cards, we have Jace, we have Glimpse, and of course Jace is a Planeswalker, counts for Shifting Woodlands, very important. Assemble the team to pick up the combo. Man, this deck was great, honestly. I gotta say, love this. Kona, everything you see here will one day be yours. No, it won't be yours. It will be tapped. I'm just gonna tap it. I'm gonna tap everything. Let's hear. Mm, I mean, we have Shifting Woods plus J, so we definitely keep it. Plus, we, actually, we have everything. Okay, we have everything. This is perfect. And I'm not gonna... I feel like a play. Ooh, that 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 is a that is a source of my uh, future complaining. I think. Let's see. God for a statue. Probably the most important piece that we in the here. There. So put that down. Sackle man. It costs three to activate this thing, so he won't be able to use it yet. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go do this. We're gonna do. Uh, wait. Can he take any card? By the way, then maybe we should have played this. <laughs> Um, uh, non-land card, good. Good, 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 good. Not a problem. Played uh, not in the correct way, but that's Why fine. Mill three times X, we're gonna do one, two, three. Oh, Badoosh, we're gonna mill ourselves. 
I'm gonna hope to hit good. Did we perchance hit good? Oh, Con the Conan, the barbarian. Doesn't look like a barbarian. I think this is a Japanese reference, but Kona means uh, powder in Japanese. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe some ancient Japanese that I don't know about. Uh, let's see. Each player discards a non land card. That's perfect. Railbreaker. Now we actually have something. Oh, wait. No, we should have discarded Bloodgast. I'm stupid. Can't I do that again? <laughs> Can't I please do that again? Wait. Why did we get his Volgavoth Terror Eater? Wait, <laughs> can we get this in the graveyard somehow? We can with this. Because then we can actually... Oh, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. We turn into... Kona. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, take action. Sure. We can also pick them. No, 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 I want to do it. I want to do it with the Kona. Okay. Activate this. Turn into Kona. Or pay. Yes. It's beautiful. He gave us his Volgavoth. Gave us his Volgavoth. How can he do this? It's insane. Now we get Volgavoth. Shifting Woodland, sir. Turning into Kona, sir. First game. Volgavoth. Your Volgavoth. <laughs> I didn't put this in my deck, sir. It's your, it's your own goddamn fault. You put this in your deck. You, put, you brought this upon yourself, sir. You brought this upon yourself. Unfortunately, now he's gonna take the victimize, but that's okay. That's okay. Takes the victimize. No problem. That's gone. I think we have everything we need still. Right? We can turn into God for a statue plus. Rayleigh Brawler? Man, he's, <laughs> he's doing this. Okay. I mean, he's, he could probably do. Oh, we could Volgaboth. He could back. He could the victimize back his Volgaboth now. Wait, why do you suicide this? Oh, it's just flying death touch. This is flying life. Oh, you can go into this, sir. I'm not gonna block at that. Tachur. Tachur. So, we could do... Omniscience. Won't do anything. We could turn into Kona, which puts on a god first. That doesn't do anything. We can... Put... We can go in with the Railway Brawler. Won't do anything either. Uh... During your turn, you may play exiled cards. Yeah, nothing is exiled from his side, though, unfortunately. So we could play this. And let's see here. If a card you didn't control would put into an opponent's graveyard. Yeah, 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 this is what it is. This is what it is. Done. Oh, we can't play that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a little bit confused. From anywhere. I have to just make sure that this is gonna work. Minus one, two, three on you, sir. Mill of the mills. Mill you. Now all these spells we can play now for just a little bit of life. Waste not. We can take his. Each opponent sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. Discard a card. Returns a creature card. You return a creature card or planeswalker. Yeah, yeah, let's see this. Uh, the biggest card. <laughs> this is the biggest card you had, so... It's definitely gonna happen. Dark Intimations, sir. Dark Intimations. And when you cast a Bolas Planeswalker, uh, exile it from your graveyard, and enters with an additional loyalty counter on it. What's this? Draw two cards, if it's a spell, discard. Okay, discard. Waste not. Oh, by the way, I should have played these first. I don't know do that. Oh, that guy went, huh? He went away. Just by discard a card during your turn. Oh, we could actually, Concealing Curtain, take the Victimize. Couldn't we? <laughs> uh, no, we can't transform it. We don't have mana to do that. Uh, okay. Dark Intimations. Return a creature or planeswalker. Uh, to your hand. Maybe Jace? I don't know. Sure. Then we'll play. Do we need ways not? Probably not. Wait, we can play our own <laughs> railway brawler now. Uh, he's gonna, gonna return the Volgavoth. I'm a little bit afraid of that. Let's see here. Can we force him to discard? Oh, seven. Target player draws two cards and discard two cards. That's perfect. You, sir. And target player creates a treasure. Uh, target player, so this is this one. And this is this one. Okay. He draws two discards too. 
And now we maybe get to play some of his cards. And we have double ways not. But this we should have, of course, played first. But it didn't, so. Something's gonna happen here. Okay. So. Is it this card? All these creature cards. Gain a lot of things. We can now play Victimize. Um, and what can we return with that? <laughs> is this worth it? Ah, surely it is. Surely it is worth it, right? <laughs> Are we gonna die here? No, 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 no. We're not gonna die. 8, 7... Uh, we need life. We need to go in with this guy. Badoosh, smack him. He's down to 11. Man, this... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, can, what can we put down there? Can we put down a god pharaohs? That's not the worst. And with well, this combat damage, do we need another railway brawler? No. Draw the cards if this spell was kicked, each opponent discards. Oh, we can't kick it though. Just play this though. That's not the worst. Play this. And... And if it enters, he's played discard a non-land card. Yeah, we need to play this guy. We need to play this guy, so he needs to discard a spell. So that these two trigger. And then we can discard... I don't know, Bloodgust. Doesn't matter. Concealing Curtains. <laughs> this is the problem with playing versus me. I don't really want to win, I just want to play everything. And then win. I mean, preferably, but at the point where I've played everything, I'm fine with losing also. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter, really. As long as you get to play everything. Concealing Gardens. Swackle Man, though. It's a little bit sad. Maybe he didn't want to discard his victimized there? Was that a mistake? Because I f felt like if he held on to this and returned his Volga, both. No, we. Oh, we had a creature to sacrifice. Huh? No, he doesn't have two creatures in the graveyard. That's a problem. Okay. We get zero plus counters on that thing. Huge. Play you. And uh, he needs to discard another spell here. And maybe we get some more options. We oh, by the way. We could... Uh, yeah, we discard this. We could play another Jace. And make him mill more cards, but I don't know if that's gonna do it. Okay. Get an angra. Let's see, a treasure. Uh, we could play his mountain, because that doesn't cost any life. Gets us a blood ghast. Great. Take action. And uh, that guy's a little bit huge. Then we could play you. Each one discards card and loses to life. We could also take his revealing eye. Uh, against haste, sack. No, I just I just wanted to discard a card. Hope, <laughs> hope that we get that card. That's what I hope. Okay. Oh, oh, Lord, okay. Well, plus counters for things happening. <laughs> Um, I think we're best out. We're down to one. <laughs> Let's see here. We will definitely want Ulamog in the graveyard. Oh Lord, he has Targrid. We can probably discard lands. I don't know why I'm not discarding lands. Also. And sure, this also. We have pretty much everything. I think. Oh, by the way, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, he's gonna win now. With this. Oh, it's fine. It's not a problem. Not even a problem. Well, there's a lot of effects going on there. And we're playing, like, half of the cards are, like, his cards at this point, so. What can this do? It has menace, though, so we need to be... We actually need to have blockers. These can't block, but... Uh, these can These can block, actually. Amazing. Dark Intimations! Oh, do we lose the game now? We lose life, don't we, this? Sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. We'll sacrifice the blood guys. It's gonna come back anyways. Discard a card. Oh, we're going to. And uh, is that all? Got him. Well, that was good, but... Listening into the mics, I can hear what you say. Can we do it again? As no woman has ever. 
douche. Oh, a mountain. Oh, I don't, I don't think we can do it again. I don't think we can, even if we wanted. I think we're gonna get snoom before we poop oof. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's a really, really, really slow start. This was just to taunt us, but then he was gonna play Case of the Unbeaten Beast. Okay, you gained my life. Mm hmm. Interesting, sir. But you will play that. I think I want to assemble a team for. What exactly? I mean, we have both reanimation spells, so all we need to do is mill. No mill cards here, really. I mean, I guess. I guess Jace is a mill card. We'll take the Jace. Maybe discards. Maybe just place a black. Uh, black. Uh, uh, swamp. <laughs> place a swamp. A black. Maybe place a black. And uh, he has it. He could. Man, he, has a little, he kind of has a little pressure, though, gotta say. Gotta say, we could possibly poop oof next turn, but we have, as you can see here, we have two of these, plus this costing two life. We're down to eight. We're almost dead. Plus, we need to activate Focus for two, so we're actually at six. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. But this is how it usually goes versus the rednecks. We needed the uh, mill card for two, so we could have victimized instead. Uh, oh, we hit like... Uh, oh, perfect, okay, we hit perfectly, but... We might just die here. We're down to eight. Yep, we died. We're dead. We died, we're dead, we're gone. You had it. How it usually goes versus the red decks, they're, they're, they're pretty fast. And they get you. Red decks, 100 points. Chris, zero points. I mean, we have one, I guess. I think we're probably, if we look statistically, we're, we're more even than 50-50 against the Red Decks. But it's often when we lose, it is versus those decks, I feel like. Because uh, they do something fast, and we usually don't. <laughs> we usually set up for a couple of turns. I mean, we have some fast combos. But we've gotten through most of the fastest ones, I think. So we need to play those medium-fast decks. So here's a little bit of an awkward case of us having to play assemble the team for a land, but I think that's what we have to do. Mm, it has to be monocon plans also. Unfortunately. Okay. And then we'll see if he uh, schnoons us before he dooms us. Usually we have a pretty good track record versus green decks, I feel like. But usually they're slower than red decks, and that's... That's good for us. Well, we're gonna mill. Hope that we hit good. Hit a little bit good there. Did we hit uh, absent rappers? No, we have Kona in the graveyard. We can Kona back omniscience. At least get a board. It doesn't win us the game, but it gets us a board, so. You know, that's something. Okay. Enchanting this one. Wow, okay. Never seen this thing ever played. Okay. Interesting. Well. Draws a card. Ooh, Godfair statue. We could do that instead, but that just... Uh, that doesn't do anything, really. Doesn't really do anything. So, I think we do... This. And this. And turn into... I mean, Kona is actually, it's actually pretty good. A pretty good thing to have in the decker. We put down the Omniscience. It has to be Railway... Wait. <laughs> railway Brawler. Railway Brawler. Uh, Bloodgast. Barish. And this thing. And... Uh, yeah, a little bit of power here on the board, actually. Oh, these have reach, by the way. Reach, actually, reach. It's an it's a very underrated ability. Very underrated ability. I think reach is really, really good. It's probably like my fourth favorite keyword. I think it's in many cases better than vigilance. It's 
Not as good as Trample in most cases, but... Oh, oh, okay, that, that touch. He just snooed us. He just snooed us and bandooned us. Okay. Training some dudes there. Will he go in? Okay, it is indestructible. He still doesn't go in, though. Interesting. Well, if we mill something, we probably hit something good, right? So, uh, mill. Uh, let's see here. We have Kona. We have... God for a statue. I think we actually turn into a God for a statue and have two of them. I think that's the way. Auto pay, yes. And put down you. And then let's see here. The first one. I will just go railway brawler. Right? Badoosh. And then another railway brawler. And that's. I mean, that has to be lethal, right? Because all of these have trampled. This can't block anyways. Let's go in. Let's go in. I think just the railway block. Also. Underrated card again. You know, the reach. Gives us a little bit of reach, you know. Okay. Uh, he didn't block enough. Did he? No. No, no, he didn't block enough. No, no. Gotcha, brother. Often, when we put in one of these cards in an almost already established deck, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it has actually made a difference in both games that we won that we had Kona. It's actually been really good, honestly. It's actually been really, really good. Surprisingly. I didn't think it would matter as much as it did, to be fair. Better than I thought, okay. Well, Bashnoosh, put this down. I'm gonna be glimpsing her, I think. Fable Warrior Island. Now we're gonna be playing that glimpse on ourselves. And see what we can find here. What did we get? Oh, absolutely nothing. A railway brawler, that's all. And both victimize and a shifting woodlands. That was really bad. Yeah. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. So. So what do we do now? We uh, assemble the team. Oh, we get a victimize. Oh, many on the other hand. Still don't have anything. We search. We search first. I think we just need another mill card. And then we victimize. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, Jace or nothing. So we take the Jace. Found this. Fable Warrior. Double Manes hasn't done anything else so far. Double Banas. Maybe he's held up for a. No! Shrine. Perfect, 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 perfect. And we can actually play this for four now. Badish. And we can mill a lot of cards. Mill, please. Mill, please. Your victory. Nothing could be that's, a, that's a lot of millings. A lot of milling, so we could go. Kona put God for a statue. Oh, we didn't hit a single Ulamo. In all these cards, not a single. That is. Uh... That's fine. That's fine. We can do Railway Brawler. Kona. That's not great. Uh, I mean, it's the only thing we can do now, so we'll do it. So we'll Wait, we can assemble the team. No, because we can't discard all. Okay, we victimize. Oh, we don't have a creature, by the way. <laughs> First, we need a creature. Take action, take action, take action. Great. Play this. Kona Railway Brawler. Out of pain. Oh, actually, this works out perfectly. Again, because of the Kona. Look at this. Because now when we go to our second main phase and we put down this... Then it gets the all the United. Man, Kona is it is really good. If this doesn't happen often, then we put in like one card in an already established deck and it just makes all the difference. This card has made all the difference in every freaking game.
Doesn't look like much, but this car is really good. <laughs> it's really freaking good. Every time is good. Every time I wake up, I look out my window and I look at Cola and it's so good. So freaking good. Every game it's good. Every game. I, re I, I have to hand it to this card. The lifesaver. If you need a lifesaver, look no further. Look, the beast survivor. The beast, the, the literal beast from, I think this is the literal beast from the east. I think it's the beast from the east. Let's see though. What our opponent's gonna do is be gonna smack in. Deal all that damage and all that annihilator. Annihilator 7 only though. So we can actually sacrifice these. Sacrifice maybe three lands. And actually maybe be fine. Possibly maybe. We'll see though. Our dear opponent. Thinking about what to sacrifice here. Luckily he had the Felidor retreat. It's the saving grazer. We could have gone in... Let's see, we can put down a god for a statue now, but we can't be- Oh, all the lands went there. Okay, all all of them. <laughs> really? <laughs> really all the lands, sir? Yeah, I mean, it does have the Sanctum of All. Which is kind of cool for him to have. So we can search for... All we need there is actually this. So we get Ulamog in the graveyard. Play this. And take action. And uh, discard a card, discard. Oh, we can actually do this at any point, so we can end up. Okay, he gets a shrine. I don't see how one shrine changes anything, but. God damn. I'm interested. Is it the perfect shrine? Weird. Will he be able to activate this even? Okay, he got three manas there. God. Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all the views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, Senor. You see, you have subs uh, zero percent. And non subs, a hundred percent. That's why he can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.